I've had a few messages from some of you asking where I get the camouflage covers for my like lenses and the tripod and I make mine because it's a bit cheaper and I don't know I always make stuff so I've got this material here I've got a few different ones I think I'm gonna use this one um, I'm not a very good sewer and this is a bit stretchier so it's got a bit more give these ones are a bit a bit firmer they still got a little bit of give but I've got these ones on my camera and tripod so the plan is I've got a rough plan anyway I'm gonna try and do it all out of one piece what I've done is I've measured from the side to the side so from down here over to this side and then I've done the same top to bottom as well and I've added on a few centimeters onto the sides because I think if we extend it a little bit we can sort of curl over the ends and then it'll make like a little channel like this and then we can stick this um, elastic inside it and then once it's on this side we can just pull it tight and then hopefully that should keep it on the bag so fingers crossed this looks okay and I can take other stuff with me so I'm gonna try and set up a sewing machine and oh no I need to cut out the material first okay so I'm all set up now and I've tried to use a GoPro but all these lines are a bit weird on it so I've stuck the DSLR on now and what I've done is I've taken this measurement here 65 centimeters across and I've also marked on like where the extension bits are like the extra four centimeters so then bits are going to fold over and I think what I need is this center bit here so it's just going to be this bit to this bit so that is about 20 centimeters and we'll need the side bits as well which is huh, that's 20 centimeters as well now the tools that I'm using for this probably aren't the correct ones it's got a, a marker pen and a square edge um, I'm not sure what you're supposed to use, but this is what I've got. So they're just like rough guides there. And then now what we need to do is the length. So we're going to do 83. We'll get this line started. And go 83 centimeters this way. So all I'm going to do now is go through and draw this out just on the back of the fabric. So I've drawn out most of these lines now. I'm going to add in some bits like in between these two because I think when they join up um, you won't be able to join up these two edges. I think you need like a bit of, bit of a flap here. And here then you can just sew them together on the inside I think that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna give it like two centimeters on these edges these edges and the same on the top two so I'm gonna quickly draw those in and then start cutting it out I wonder how this looks to people that know what they're doing. I've probably just made some horrible mistakes. Like I, sh I should probably use a ruler here, but it'd be close enough. I made some mistakes on this side as well. So I'm sure we'll find out more about those soon. I think this is all done now so we don't need that anymore so that's going to be the front of the bag that's going to be the side 
that's going to be the little um, flap on the side. These bits are to join the sides together. So I'm going to cut around here now, I think. And then I guess it's time to start sewing after that. It's got some white stuff in. Does it matter what color it is? I can't find the electric or the um, the foot thing, but I'm gonna um, try and thread this up. There's like a little diagram on the top. You just follow the numbers. Two, three, four, yeah, five, I guess six is through the needle. I don't get why the electric part and that, the foot part are in the box. I don't know where that is. Found it. That's the bit that makes it go. Why are you beeping at me? E1. What? Need to get the thread onto this thing. I didn't do that though. Ah, oh, you slid it. Push that across. Now try it. Push your foot. How did you know to, oh, it's turns to slide it. I never slid it. And it's in that instruction book I left you. Jab it? Yeah. You do it with your foot. You might as well fill it up. You won't uh, know that way. How do you know it's full? It's still. There we go. Apparently that bit slides across. Kind of cheated. I had to get some help. But I think we're winning now. I kind of want it so that the, the stitches are a bit further apart. Because I think if they're like too close together, it'll just cut through the material. That looks alright. So I think the first bits I'm going to do are these end pieces that this elastic is going to go between. So that should go on there and that will fold over. So I think if I fold it over so them, them lines touch, then that should leave enough space. I've got to get that elastic inside after. Yeah, that's a problem for later. I'll go around all the edges and do that. Once they looks good, it looks okay. Kind of looks a bit, a bit weird on that side. Like some of it's raised up. But 
Should be able to get this through it. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Two down. Three down. That's how far I am. So now, now what? Uh, these bits. Do I need to sew them inside out and go along that line? And then when I turn them inside out, they'll be stitched on the inside. I think so. That's almost okay. There's a bit of a hole. So, how do we fix that? Yeah. I think that'll work. So we'll just do the same to all the others. Let me see if this fits. So we'll just feed this elastic round. Hopefully it'll just make its way all the way around the outside. So I've fed the elastic all the way around now and it should just fit on, on top of it really, if I've done it right. So that fits around there and on this side fits around and then if I pull these tight so I need to tie this bit that doesn't look too bad though I can still access this bit just remembered that I need to cover the straps up somehow but okay so now I need to work out how to cover these um, I don't think these come off altogether because you could just make a sock. Yeah, these will just fast through. Okay, so we just need to make a tube and that'll fit over the top of this. I might actually be able to just lay this on the material and draw around it, so we'll give that a try. I'm not sure how to make the mirror image of this. Might just cut this one out and then, um, do I need the mirror image? Yeah, I do. Oh, there we go. Just turn it upside down. There we go. We'll do it over here. I think when it goes together, it needs to have a hole at this end so that all this can come out. But, uh, hmm, maybe it's better to do like one line down each side then. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. Hmm. I don't think that, that big hole is supposed to be there. Let's do that bit again. I think we should be able to turn this inside out now. Then hopefully slide it onto this. I have a feeling it's a bit too small though. That actually worked. Because I made it slightly too big, it sort of took some there on its own. So maybe we don't even need to sew it. Hmm. Just need to do that again, just on this side. <laughs> I 
Did it again. It's even bigger on this one. Okay. I am starting to feel like maybe I should have just bought the six pound one off eBay. That would have been a lot easier. But I've learned a few bits about sewing, so next time it should be easier. I think I might work out how to attach them two together. I don't think that looks that bad. You can still get into the camera stuff on this side. And I'll put the straps back on. But I was thinking that I could make this and then take it out, but it's almost dark now. So probably see it in a different video. I'll go and grab some photos of it for, for you, but I'm quite happy with that. It's not perfect, like those corners could deal with being a bit closer, but that should be easy to fix with another run through this. There's probably going to be a few little bits like that, but that's the way that I make my covers. Um, just start with like a rough plan and then work it out as you go along. There's probably loads of ways that you can do it. Um, there's probably better ways that you can do it, but this looks like the most simple to me and it seems to have done the job. I'll test it out a few times in the next few weeks and let you know how it goes. But yeah, I think that looks quite good though, considering this costs about 50p to make. Fortunately, I got given this bag the other day as well. So this has only cost me 50p for this setup. So can't really complain about that. But I hope you like the video. Um, next time we'll probably do some landscape photography. Or we could do some wildlife and test this out. But if you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. See, it blends right in. I don't even know it's there. Oh. You eating?